Hello! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today video is a different one. I've discovered that people are going through a lot getting jobs now and uh, I want to show you one or two things that you can actually do to enhance your job opportunity, to enhance you landing yourself an interview and from there moving forward to securing the job. There are basic things that we actually need to put in place. So today I posted on my status that friends should send me job vacancies and some of them have come in. I want to show us a particular one and how to find your way and how to go around it. What are some of those things you actually need to do so that you can actually get the job? Okay, so uh, I'm going to be doing a short video on how to show you everything that you actually need doing. I'm going to be walking you through all that right now. Okay, so you just follow me. So a friend of mine sent me a link to this particular trust that they are recruiting at the moment. So I'm going to show you and I'll as well as share the link for you to be able to apply. So this is the trust. Cumbria, they have quite a number of international nurses from Africa, from Nigeria as well. The person that sent this one is actually, she's in Nigeria and she actually works in the trust. So this is the vacancy. You can see that this vacancy is specified for international, okay? Even though they specify mental health, However, if you have experience, okay, if you have experience in mental health, you can as well as apply. If you work in mental health environment, you can apply. And I'm sure every nurse in Nigeria, you would have probably been posted to mental health facility or one way or the other. So, and this is the, the link to, to the job, okay? to the job location. I'm going to share that as well. So uh, one of the things you need to notice, do you need to find out or look out for when you are applying is does this vacancy actually recruit internationally so that you just don't get to keep applying. And I do tell people if you want to apply, even if it's two job vacancies, you are, you are able to apply in a day, ensure it is thorough. It is because there are loads of people looking for a job. It's not like in the past where you just drop junks and you get a job. Not anymore. The, it, it, the, the, the net, the competition in getting job is becoming fierce. And so many people want to relocate, want to get a job and you need to be up your game. Very, very important. So you can see job overview. It has been very, very specified here that they are recruiting internationally. And so your application, your application will be considered by the international recruitment and relocation support team in collaboration with clinical services. And if successful, shall list there, blah, 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 and the rest. If successful, you will be supported to complete NMT registration requirements such as OSCE, which will be followed by 12 month preceptorship. This application is aimed at international recruitment. So, you know, before various agencies do help trust to do recruitment, but now you just have to apply to the trust directly. So, this is an application being made to the trust directly. Recruitment will be made by the trust. So, as you can see, this has already specified this this um, part um, this part has already given it out that this particular vacancy is for international recruitment which is for someone like you and I so you now move down you will see document to download you must this is what we're saying the job description this is talk about this talk about what they expect you to do for them what posts what are the expectations when you are employed for that job now there are other things you need to check while you are trying to make an application all right so this is for that so now let's move to what is the next thing we're going to click on 
apply now so now let's download let's even start by downloading the job description that's the first thing okay so i've already downloaded this is the job description okay this is the job and five staff nurse okay so uh you now you go through these okay you look at what are the job description you know one of the things you need to feel while you're filling the application has to do with uh your job description where you are working and i do tell people a cv is a marketing tool it stands you out it goes before you telling your employer that you are a candidate they want to have you do not miss that for anything you do is a market so it's like in a fierce environment where there are intense competition your cv must stand out it must sell you you know people they are looking for the person that has almost or close similar experience with what they are expecting from you that's what they are looking for and even if you don't have this particular experience but you have similar experience you can tailor to your experience your job descriptions towards this just tailor it towards it but ensure there are responsibilities that you are competent as a nurse to execute and the beautiful part of it is they won't just throw you in the field and start working there's what they call preceptorship mentoring which you are going to go through before you can now start working independently during that period is a period of learning so this is the job description you need to familiarize yourself with this because they are going to be asking you questions based on this as well and the first thing is once they review your application and they look at your job description and what they are looking for are they of the same match are they close if they are close they will likely want to okay fine let's hear from this person if it's totally different they will not so if the job description differs from what you have in your cv you don't just copy it and paste no you need to adjust it to suit this uh vacancy then another thing is that is for the job description now let's go to other things that you need to know okay before we go on to apply for this particular job then you need to also go to the website of the trust this is where we started from then you not look at uh, uh about us okay about us the trust how are we doing so let's go to uh, uh, the trust let's see what we're going to find now who we have our visions and values and the like so let's click our visions and values so this is um, our vision blah blah the likes you can download it and have a proper view of it so i've actually downloaded it okay um, this is our vision to be a leader in the delivery of high quality care and a champion for those we serve it is very very you 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 can't be employed by this trust if you don't share in their vision you can't if you don't share in their values you can't they won't employ you so and that is where the the supporting um uh, supporting statement in your application become very very critical because you must incorporate these visions values in your supporting statement it tells the trust the recruiter that you even make attempt to go to the website to read about the vision of the hospital of the nhs of the trust their value system and once they notice that in your supporting statement they are interested in wanting to know you now this is uh, uh this is the 
uh, their vision um their values and caring compassionate respectful honest and transparent you must our quality go you must include this you might not necessarily have to include everything but at least some of it in your supporting statement because that will filter you out that will make you stand out so i'll just um i'm going to show you one of the supporting statement that i have here okay this is the link to that particular vacancy okay i'm also going to share it in the youtube video that the big winning question in your supporting statement okay in your supporting statement let me just go back to the vacancy i'll just click on apply now i'll use one of my old accounts to make the application okay uh where's that my account this is my one of my old account so let me see So right now i'll click on apply now okay so this is the compria nhs so um, the one i'm actually talking about you can see international recruitment so you answered some of these basic questions so um, are you an employer an employee no then this is the one you will select i do not have a visa or right to work in the uk but if you have a visa or right to work in the uk you can check and select but as an international um an international uh person nurse or the international that they want to recruit so you just said i do not have this applies to individual without the right to work in the uk they cannot undertake employment without sponsorship for a visa before applying for entry clearance which is the visa and all that so you click on this if you have any information you want to provide you can do that there these are specific informations they want to know how far you've gone with your whole application process okay are you an international registered nurse yes have you completed your IELTS and OET yes have you completed your CBT yes or uh, have you registered with NMT yes now this one is are you as a registered nurse, have you worked in mental health, like psychiatry, learning disability, older people services, or uh, maybe uh, care homes, people with uh, neurological problem, people uh, rehabilitative services, and all that. People with, uh, if you've worked with any of these, basically in Nigeria, I don't think it's possible for you not to have worked in any of this field. It's not even possible unless you are probably working in the operating room, delivery and all that. Even in delivery, you have people with uh, postpartum depressions and all that. So, so just put yes, then that's good. So click continue. Okay. I'm not going to do a full application, but I just want to bring you guys uh, up to speed so i just uh because i've recently applied for a job i think um first of july okay staffing coordinator which i literally didn't even bother going for the interview anyway so i'm just going to click on use a recent application or you can start afresh if you are applying for the very first time so i'm just going to launch this application now these are my personal details area blah blah my name personal details whatever view just put all everything that you need to put application education relevant training member of a professional body nhs blah blah some are not applicable to you and then gaps if you have and um sorry let me just uh, let me just put save so it will allow me to go to the supporting statement type now this is the supporting information this is the very key you know i've talked about your your previous job experiences where you have to put um em employer and you put the kind of responsibilities that you were performing and all that so this is where <coughs> you have to put a very very vital information and then please include your reason for applying and take the opportunity to highlight your particular talent and strength what you feel you can personally offer what can you offer what is unique to you and what set you apart from your from your peers so there are so many people applying 
what sets you apart from your employer it is very very important to be very honest if you do not address this part this this part properly you need to even if you have to get somebody to mentor you on how to write a very good supporting information please do you have to write 1500 that's a lot they expect from you let me take us uh, to show you one of the examples that they have now so this is the same thing okay the big winning question that need addressing you need to address this properly okay now look at the supporting supporting information okay i'm applying for blah 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 this person is a church and nurse he has read about the cc's of nursing compassionate blah blah now this person is saying i've read about the core values and vision of the trust which is to be a leader in the delivery of high quality care and a champion for those we serve. Include caring in a compassionate way where everyone matches and deliver. That is the trust, values and vision. Let's go and have a look. Now, this is the, okay. The vision of the trust is this, which the person has included. And the person talk about caring and compassionate, respectful, honest and transparent. So you need to incorporate all these in the application. So when you do, it tells your recruiter that you've gone a step by. You, you are not just doing a dump, a dump application, you just apply the supporting document for your previous application you just put it there even when the the vision and the values of that trust different from this particular trust you just put it no you need to really be on what you are doing now let me also show you something you also need to include okay uh this person said I'm a registered nurse, whatever qualification you have, not sure if you can swap me. I've applied for NMG UK professional, blah, blah, blah. I've also successfully passed. And this person put whatever score the person had in OET or CB or IELT. I also put CBT, the person has passed CBT and has gotten authorization to test from NMC UK. Person put personal experience, okay, knowledge, skills, and understanding personal quality what makes you unique as an applicant what makes you unique as an applicant like i said it's very very important okay and the total words is 1425 words and how many pages it's a five page document okay so you need to do all this and when you do all this even if it's two applications you are able to apply in it apply for in a day forget it before you apply for thing you will see one these are specific if you apply for specific applications like this that are recruiting internationally if you apply for five out of that five you will see one that will actually call you now this is another vacancy for general nurse you see it is well specified okay well specified overseas nurse adaptation program probably you start at band three nurse amnesty council blah 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 overseas they don't they've specified it cardiff cardiff is in wales okay cardiff is in wales they've specified it that this vacancy is actually for international recruitment so you apply for vacancies like this um i bet you you are going to get the, you are going to get the job okay let me see um so you read about the job description you go to the trust website you go you can go to this trust website okay uh this is the the home if i click on it it's just going to take me up or away from here you go to the home uh you read about our visions our mission let's, let's just quickly uh, check that out okay except um Okay, this is this is the the website and you read about the the mission what is their mission and uh, what is their vision say so our mission is caring for people keeping people well you see that it down down mission 
it's different from the one we were talking about previously. Why is their this guy's mission? Uh, okay, their own vision. They say their own is vision. Those people say their own is mission. Okay, their own vision is to be a leader in the delivery of high quality care and champion for those we serve. But these people are saying that their own mission is to be what caring for people and keeping people well. You see. So imagine you now dump that particular one, that, part, that previous application for Combra, supporting statement from Combra, you just dump it for uh, what is this uh, Cardiff uh, Vale University Health Board. No, you won't get the job, you won't get called. It means that you've not done your homework, you've not done your assignment. So it is very, very important. So guys, I'm going to share the link for you guys to apply for this two vacancy in this YouTube video uh, so that you can apply and uh, get the job no the most beautiful thing is when you're able to help people secure opportunity opportunities like this you don't hold it to yourself you make it available to people so i'll try um this is the second link okay i'll try and make the link available so that you guys can actually apply and try your luck i know you are going to be lucky with that so so Funny thing is, I put on my status and I asked that um, does anyone, if anyone has a link to job vacancies, do you know what I got? Somebody said for 10 job links, 10 job links is 15,000. 15,000 here. Yeah. So for you to just send me links alone for just 10, I'm going to pay 15,000. And that's what I'm actually making available for you guys because your success matters to people like us. Okay. Uh, 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 but sometimes it's also good that you charge people for your services. So uh, I appreciate the gentleman that charges people for helping them to provide link. If he doesn't do that, people will not value his time and all that. So I wish you guys. A very good one so ensure you apply for this vacancy and uh, it's closing on the 14th December but it can actually close earlier once they have gotten the number of people they want you can see the closing date so quickly hit the button and ensure you apply so this one is closing oh this one is closing on the 6th of november and today is four so you need to apply for this one like asap okay wish you get the very best as you keep applying don't forget to subscribe i'm going to be uploading more videos that has to do with job vacancies on my youtube so that you can quickly apply all the best guys